Hello, my name is Matthew Forbes from the Music Workshop Company. I'm going to take you through how to tune some instruments, how to play them basically, and also how to read the notated music for them. Here is how to relate the music in front of you to the piano keyboard itself. Piano music is generally written in two lines. Uh, one for the right hand, one for the left hand. We'll do one at a time. The right hand first, it's the higher notes, so they use the treble clef, which is the rather squiggly and decorative clef at the beginning of the music there. Middle C, our best reference point on the piano, is actually written below the lowest line of the five and is given an extra line called a ledger line to show that it's in a specific place lower down. The first, the bottom line of the five line stave is actually the note E and that's the, my third one up there. If I just follow the scale up here you'll see me using just the white notes for now. So it's C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C again and carrying on up the scale. To the top there. As you will see, the notes move space wise, so they go from line to the space above to the next line to the next space above. So they're very small movements on the eye, but that is the representation of the changes of the notes. The black notes on the piano are the sharps and the flats. So we have here, if I'll skip forward, uh, we have the F, which is the lowest space. The F sharp, using the cross hatch sharp sign, puts me up a semitone to the next black note. That's an F sharp. So the G is there, and the G-sharp is there. The names of the notes on the treble staff, as we call it, the, uh, the five lines, the bottom line is E, the next line is G, the next line B, the next line D, and the next line F. There are various acrostics to remember, my favourite being elephants go bonkers during February. It's the silliest and the most memorable. The, the spaces between them, so the space between the bottom line and the next line up is F, the next space is A, the next space is C, and the next space is E, spelling the word face. Again, easily memorable. That's the treble clef. For the left hand, we use the bass clef so that it's a lot easier to read. We start again with middle C, but this time in the bass clef, middle C is actually represented by the note above the top line, given an extra line, the ledger line, again. And we come down in the same way, stepwise, from line to space to line C. And we're going down, so B, A, G, F, E, D, C. We started there, so we're an octave apart, so we start the alphabet again, as it were, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C, and so on. Into the lower reaches. The same rules apply for the sharps and the flats, where you have a note such as F, and if you need the note above it, that's the F sharp, and the G sharp from the G, and the flats too on the way down. That's the note B, but a, a semitone lower will be the B flat to the A, to the A flat, to the G, to the G flat, and so on. Remembering also that the E to the F is only a semitone, so there's no black note between those, neither is there between the B and the C.